Now, expect ablation to be done mostly under general anesthesia. We usually cannot have you squirming around even if you're asleep. So we oftentimes will make you so asleep where we are breathing for you, where you're so asleep you're not breathing on your own. We put a little tube down to breathe for you. So you have to be completely out and the procedure will take anywhere from one to four hours depending on the difficulty and complexity of your case and also who's doing it and what specific energy source they're using. But the procedure itself is generally done under general anesthesia and can take anywhere from one to four hours where you are on a tiny little table, a hard metal table, under general anesthesia for that period of time. When we are done and you wake up, usually you have to lay flat for several hours because you do have little holes in your leg vessels that we don't want to bleed. These are venous holes, not arterial holes, so there is less chance of bleeding because the venous system, of course, is the tiny blood that dribbles out, not the blood that spurts out like a pump, like an artery. But you do need to stay flat for several hours. And when you finally get up, usually depending on how difficult the procedure was and how long you were under, you may be able to leave later that day or by the next morning. Now, everyone's reaction to general anesthesia is different. The older you are in general, the more time it's gonna take to bounce back from that. So there are risks with the general anesthesia itself separate from what we do from the ablation. And so the older you are, the longer it may take to bounce back from that, the longer it may take to get the anesthetics out of your system. The younger you are, the less it will affect you. But generally speaking, do expect to feel some grogginess afterwards. And if you did go under general anesthesia and if we did breathe for you during the procedure with a little tube down your throat, you can often experience some scratchiness in your throat because that's just from the tube. And you sometimes people complain about some back pain because they were laying on a hard flat table for a couple hours. So all of these things are things to watch out for.